Hi, welcome to this Corporate Mars video. In this video, we're gonna look at edges, faces, and vertices. So we're gonna look at what edges, faces, and vertices are, and then we're gonna look at some typical questions based on them. So whenever we're dealing with three-dimensional shapes, it's very important to know what edges, faces, and vertices are. So here we've got a cube, and this cube, if we start off with its faces, it has got six faces. And if you consider a dice, a dice has got six faces. So what is a face? A face are the individual surfaces of the three-dimensional shape. So if we look at this cube, it has got six squares. It's got a square at the front, so that's its first face. A square on the top, that's its second face. A square on the back, that's its third face. A square on the bottom, that's its fourth face. A square on the right-hand side, that's its fifth face. And a square on the left-hand side, that's its sixth face. So a face is an individual surface of the three-dimensional shape. So we've had a look at faces, now let's have a look at vertices. So vertices are where the edges meet, and they are the corners of the three-dimensional shape. So if we have a look at this cube, it would have eight corners, or eight vertices. One of them is called a vertex, and the plural of the word vertex is vertices. So this is a vertex, this is a vertex, this is a vertex, and this is a vertex. And on the top of this cube, we have got four vertices. And if we have a look at this cube, this will help us count them all. So we've got one, two, three, four vertices on the top of the cube. We've got another one, two, three, four in the bottom of a cube. So a cube altogether has got eight vertices. So faces are the individual surfaces, vertices are where the edges meet, they're the corners of the three-dimensional shape. Now let's have a look at the edges. So edges are what join up the vertices of a three-dimensional shape. So here we've got an edge, that's an edge. Here we've got another edge, that's two edges, and another edge, and another edge. So there's four edges on the top of the cube. We've got four edges going down the cube, so one, two, three, and four, so altogether that's eight edges so far. And then if we look at the edges at the bottom of the cube, there's another one, two, three, four. So a cube has got 12 edges, and edges are what join up the vertices of three-dimensional shapes. So that's an edge, that's an edge, and that's an edge, and so on. So faces are the individual surfaces of a three-dimensional shape. The vertices are the corners of the three-dimensional shape, or where the edges meet, and the edges join up the vertices, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at some typical questions. So here we've got a square base pyramid. This is a square base pyramid. You can see the square on the bottom, and then it's got four triangles, one, two, three, four, joining up to the top of the square base pyramid. And we've been asked to write down the number of vertices, the number of faces, and the number of edges. So let's start off with the vertices. So they are the corners of the square base pyramid. If we consider the base, we've got one, two, three, four vertices at the bottom of the square base pyramid, and one at the top, so altogether there'd be five vertices, so that's five. Now we're asked to write down the number of faces the square base pyramid has. So because this is a square base pyramid, it's got a square on the bottom, so that's one face, so that's one. Now let's look at the four triangles, so that's going to be two, three, four, and five. So it's going to be five faces altogether for the square base pyramid. And then we're asked to write down the number of edges. So if we have a look at our square base pyramid, we have got one, two, three, four edges along the base, and then we've got four edges going up to the top, so five, six, seven, and eight. So a square base pyramid would have eight edges. So a square base pyramid has five vertices, so five corners. It's got five faces, so five individual surfaces, and it's got eight edges, so those eight lines joining up the vertices, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So here's our next question. We've got a triangular prism and a triangular prism. Some people like to consider it as a tent or a Toblerone bar. So here we've got our triangular prism and we've been asked to write down the number of vertices, the number of faces and the number of edges. So let's start off with the vertices. So that's the number of corners. So that's gonna be one, two, three at the front and then another three at the back, four, five, six. So the six vertices, six corners. Okay, now the faces, let's count the number of faces that this triangular prism has. So it's got one on the front, a triangle, and another triangle on the back, that's two. It's got a rectangle on the bottom, that's three. It's got a rectangle on the right-hand side, that's four, and a rectangle on the left-hand side, that's five. So there'd be five faces, the triangle at the front, the triangle at the back, the rectangle on the bottom, the rectangle on the right-hand side, and the rectangle on the left-hand side. So there's five faces altogether. And then finally, the number of edges, so remember, edges are the lines that join up the vertices. So we've got, if we look at the triangle at the front, one, two, three edges. And then if we look at the edges going back, then we've got four, five, and six. And then if we look at the triangle at the back, we've got another three, so that's seven, eight, and nine. So that triangular prism would have nine edges. So a triangular prism has six vertices, six corners. It's got five faces, so five individual surfaces, and it's got nine edges, so nine lines joining up those vertices. Okay, let's have a look at our next shape. 
Okay, so let's have a look at our next shape. So our next shape is a cuboid, and we've been asked to write down the number of vertices, so the number of corners. So that's going to be one, two, three, four on the top. And then if we look at the base, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight vertices. Now we've been asked to write down the number of faces. So let's count the number of individual surfaces. So we've got a rectangle on the front, that's one. On the top, two. On the back, three. And a rectangle on the bottom, four. And a rectangle or square on the right-hand side, that's five. And a rectangle or square on the left-hand side, that's six. So this cuboid would have six faces. It's similar to a dice, just a bit longer. And then if we look at the number of edges, so let's start with the top. It's got one, two, three, four edges on the top. It's got four going down, so five, six, seven, and eight. And then if we look at the base, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this cuboid has got 12 edges. So a cuboid has got eight vertices, so eight corners. It's got six faces, and it's got 12 edges. Okay, let's have a look at our next shape. So our next shape is a pentagonal prism. It's a prism because it's got the same cross section, the same shape going through it, and that shape is a pentagon, so it's a pentagonal prism. And we've been asked to write down the number of vertices, that's the number of corners. So if we look at the front of this pentagonal prism, it's got one, two, three, four, five vertices at the front, five corners at the front. And then if we look at the back, that's gonna be six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So it's got 10 vertices. Okay, now let's have a look at the number of faces. So we've got a pentagon at the front, that's one, and a pentagon at the back, that's two. Now let's count the rectangles going around. So we've got a rectangle at the bottom, that's three, a rectangle here, that's four, a rectangle here, that's five, a rectangle here, that's six, and this rectangle on this side is seven. So it's got a pentagon at the front, a pentagon at the back, and it's got five rectangles leading backwards. So it's got seven faces all together. So now let's count the number of edges. So we've got one, two, three, four, five edges at the front. We've got another five edges leading back, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we've got another five edges at the back, so that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would have 15 edges. So a pentagonal prism, it has 10 vertices, so 10 corners, five at the front and five at the back. It's got seven faces, so the pentagon at the front, the pentagon at the back, and the five rectangles. And it's got 15 edges joining up those vertices. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at what edges, faces, and vertices are. So faces are individual surfaces of a three-dimensional shape. We've looked at vertices, the corners of the three-dimensional shape, and one of them is called a vertex. And we've looked at edges. They are the lines joining those vertices. And that's it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.